Hi you guys, I have a super fun video for you today. As you can see, I have got myself a whole bunch of Girl Scout cookies here. I have to give a shout out to all of my favorite little Girl Scouts, uh, Nora, Hollis, and Lily. Thanks for making me buy all these cookies. So now I have to make some fun treats with them. So I thought I'd share some just fun things to do with your Girl Scout cookies. And I think that next year I should have my friends, my little Girl Scout friends come help me with this video and do another one next year. So I'll talk to them about that. Anyways, these are all gonna be experiments. So I'll do a taste test along the way, but I've got all of my favorites here. I think Thin Mints are probably my favorite Girl Scout cookie. Um, and then these little peanut butter patties. I think they used to be called tagalongs. They're changing some of the names on me here, but I'm gonna make up all kinds of desserts. I will list them in the description box. If you're new to my channel, make sure you click subscribe and let's make some sweet treats with these Girl Scout cookies. Okay, I'm going to make some homemade ice cream in mason jars. I have made this ice cream quite a few times. I've done a keto version that's delicious, um, but really, really easy heavy whipping cream, sugar, vanilla, a little bit of salt. But for this one, I'm going to crush up some Thin Mints. I made this a long time ago and I remember it being absolutely delicious and it's just, it's super easy also. So I'm going to add in my heavy whipping cream. So it's one cup of heavy whipping cream. It's one and a half um, tablespoons of sugar and then a tablespoon of vanilla, dash of salt, and then I'm gonna shake it all up, and then I'll add in the crushed up thin mints. So this is my favorite measuring cup ever, silicone. So when you're using liquids, you can just kind of squeeze it so that it's way easier to pour in to your container or jar or anything. These are so awesome. I will link it. Um, Oxo brand from Amazon, seriously the best. So I'll put a link in the description box. All right, here is the heavy whipping cream. Put in the sugar. Add in vanilla. The times that I've made this, um, my kids really, really liked it. I made a version of this and added a, in um, little chopped up strawberries. That was a huge hit with the kids. So this is just a fun spring, summertime dessert. And you can totally make this with the kids also. It is really fun, super easy. Okay, I'm gonna add the lids on top and I'm gonna give this a shake. And it will start thickening up or like right away. So I'm gonna give this a shake and then I want it to thicken just a tiny bit before I put the cookies in so that the cookies don't all sink directly to the bottom so that it's evened out throughout the container. So I better put the ring on this before I shake it. Definitely a workout making these. <laughs> It's awesome, but love, I mean, it's so, so easy. It's definitely like, it's not get any easier than this. And like, if you're gonna have some ice cream, this is definitely a healthy version. So, and it does not take long to harden up in the freezer. It takes about three hours. And you'll wanna kind of shake it, stir it every once in a while so it doesn't get like icy. Uh, but really fun, add all kinds of different toppings. Okay, so those are kind of all mixed up. I'm gonna add in my cookies to a baggie and I'm gonna just mash them with my, oops, my little meat masher thing. So I'm gonna do like four cookies for each jar, so. I'm gonna add in 12 cookies into my bag. You can also add these into um, like a Nutribullet if you wanted to get them like super finely crunched. I'm just gonna do 
kind of like a medium crunch on these so that you can still get like that crunchy texture. Here's a big piece, but all right. So here are all of my crushed up Thin Mints. Mmm, Thin Mints are my favorite. Okay. I'm gonna give these another quick little shake. Make sure they're thickening a little bit. I'll add the cookies in, put it in the freezer. These are just too good. All right, the lids are going back on. Shake these up. I mean, this is such an awesome way to enjoy some Thin Mint Girl Scout cookies, for sure. So I am going to put these in the freezer. Like I said, it takes about three hours for them to harden up, and such an awesome, awesome treat. So for this next one, I'm gonna use the Caramel Delights cookies, and these used to be called Samoas, I believe, but I'm going to chop them up into some small pieces, and I'm going to be making a fudge. I just recently started making fudge, and it's so good and so, so easy. So I'm going to make some chocolate fudge and then add this crushed up cookie on top. These were a really big hit. They were really yummy. So I'm using the Zero Sugar Chocolate Chips by Hershey. So I have three cups of chocolate chips, and then I have a can of sweetened condensed milk. So super easy, just gonna heat this on low. I'm just gonna keep stirring it until it's all melted. And fudge is really good. I, like I said, I just recently started making it and it's easy and it is delicious. So I have my uh, Pyrex, I'm using a nine by 13 to make this a little bit thinner. And I have my parchment paper as well. So I poured in all of my fudge and now I'm going to add in the crushed up cookie and just the caramel in this and the chocolate and the wafer is just a really good combo. So I'm gonna let this harden up in the refrigerator for a couple hours. Once it's all hard, I will pull it out and cut it into some small squares. So this one was really good. Definitely a great combo with these cookies on top. Um, just a fun way to use up this Girl Scout cookie. Delicious and sugar-free fudge. <laughs> so I'm using another sugar-free. I'm doing Jello with some peanut butter patty cookies. Um, these used to have a different name too. Uh, Tagalong, I believe is what they used to be called. So I have my sugar-free jello um, chocolate pudding mix, and I'm going to just make that how the um, instructions say. So I have three cups of milk. So I will mix that pudding mix up. I'm going to do a parfait uh, type dessert. So I have just some small plastic cups. I'm going to crush up the cookie and put that on the bottom. I will add in the pudding mixture and then I'm gonna put some more crushed up cookie on top. This was really good as well and I love sugar-free desserts. Sugar-free pudding is so, so good. So I'm just crushing up the cookie, gonna put it on the bottom, gonna add in the pudding mix and then I'll add some more cookie on top after it sits for a minute so that the cookies don't sink to the bottom. But this was good, definitely good. I think the fudge was a little bit better. And so far, the ice cream is hands down the best. Like, absolutely love anything with Thin Mint. But the ice cream is really, really delicious. So this one is good, too. Very simple, um, making a little bit of a mess. But it's just a good treat. And anything with Jello, like pudding mix, is really good. So fun way to use these. These were very tasty. So I'm gonna use these Tagalong cookies again, and I'm going to use this. I got Halo Top Brownie Mix. I had to get this when I saw it at the store, 90 calories per serving. I love Halo Top ice cream, so I wanted to give this a try. So I'm going to make kind of like a, 
I'm gonna put the cookies on the bottom of a cupcake and then add in the brownie mixture. So the brownie was a little dry. I would definitely next time use a better brownie mix. Um, this halo top, you know, trying to be a little bit healthier and was kind of a little bit of a fail. I felt like it was a little dry on top of the cookie. But I really liked adding in this peanut butter cookie on the bottom because these are my favorite cookies. I really love these. I think, well, Thin Mint might be my favorite, but this tag along cookie is probably my second favorite. Really good. So I have my cupcake liners. And like I said, I'm just gonna add the cookie on the bottom and then I'm gonna add the brownie mix on top. And so it's definitely a fun combination with the chocolates. Um, definitely rich with this chocolate and peanut butter cookie. But like I said, these turned out a little bit dry. So I would definitely use like the Ghirardelli brownie mix that is like fudgy and delicious. This brownie mix it was definitely uh, low calorie. So I, you know, if you're gonna splurge on a dessert, probably just go all the, all out and get a really good mix. So just pop these in the oven. They came out looking pretty good. Um, just love how they look with the cookie on the bottom. Definitely still a great treat. The cookies are so good. So I'm gonna do a lemon dump cake with the lemonade cookies. And I have some pie mix, cream cheese, butter, and the lemonades. So this one was a little bit of a fail as well. I'm not that great at making dump cakes, but I do love lemon desserts. And these lemonade cookies, they're really good. So I'm crushing them up. I'm gonna put them on the bottom layer. Then I'll add in the lemon pie filling. I'll add in cream cheese. I'll dump on the cake and add in some butter. So this was really rich, very lemony with the lemon pie filling but I just don't think that this one turned out all that great, but it was fun to give it a try. For this last one, I'm going to be using these cute little jars that I have, these glass jars. I'm gonna be doing a cheesecake and then the lemonade cookies on the bottom. So I'm going to crush them up in my Nutribullet to kind of make a crust. So this is a jello cheesecake, um, sugar-free, of course. So I'm just crushing up the cookies and these cookies are very lemony, which I absolutely love. I'm going to add the crumbs into some butter and like I said, I'm gonna be doing a taste test of all of these along the way because they are all experiments. Um, I used a little bit too much butter for this one, so it definitely did not need as much butter as I used. Um, and so adding that onto the bottom, it was good. It just made the crust too hard once it's set up. So this would be really, really delicious with probably just the crumbs on the bottom. I did not need to mix it with butter but I'm just making my cheesecake jello mix. No bake cheesecake is definitely one of my favorite things ever. So I'm just making that up. I'm gonna pour it into the jars and I'll pour it into, you know, on top of the crust and let these sit for a couple hours. And I love jello puddings and this one's really, really good. You know, I love anything sugar free. So great little treat to have. The crust did end up coming out too hard and like hard to get out with the spoon with the pudding. 
but definitely really yummy. Here's my little Girl Scouts um, that convinced me to buy all these cookies. So go support your local Girl Scouts, great organization, and I had so much fun making all these different desserts. They were experiments, but they were definitely fun. Make sure you subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.